Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers and a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. We're really looking forward to this matchup. We've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats. Taking on another team from the Big 12 in an interconference matchup, the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Mountaineers will put total leather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Wildcats offense will have the first possession of the game. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double-team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball in quick passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Now on second down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Really good job by the defense, seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It can happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He'll pull it down. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. Kansas State has it with another first and ten. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great in the tackle for a loss on first down. Johnson wants to throw it. Makes the catch. Bounced off his feet. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense, showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's Fox. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Mountaineers' offense will go to work for the first time today. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the start corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Caught in the backfield, it's Davis. And that's 
that's what I love about this offense. You're not going to get all of your big chunk plays in the passing game by throwing it deep down the field. You can kind of dink and dunk. And on that RPO play, they had it dialed up and set up to go to that player in the right flat. Nice job. So after the first down run, here's second down. They'll run it from the gun. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being first physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Yeah, you could tell he was trying to run with that football before he caught it. That slant route, you stick your foot in the ground, cut towards the QB. This is one of those plays where he puts it on the money and you just try to make yards after the catch. But key word being after the catch. Looking to throw, it's green. Makes his connection. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Defense, man, it helps you a lot. When you could be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It'll be a draw. Picked his way through the traffic for six, but it'll be fourth down and three yards to go. Now, a fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Field goal is good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. The coach has to be happy. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. up just inside their own 20. It's second and nine from the 19. Oh, it's a reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of time the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stay home played their assignment, and that's why they had success. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Oh, and those are those where you're just looking at your hands. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Dang it, I should have caught that. Nice play, break on the football. That could have been a house call. That could have been a game changer, but just couldn't secure the interception. Kansas State will have to punt it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football. Put a nice drive together and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. 
And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Let's see what they've got on second down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's green. Find space on the right. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Takes the handoff. It's White. And the Mountaineers get it up for the first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. We've got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The Mountaineers will line it up on first and ten. They move the tight end all over. Hand off from the shotgun. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll leave it with him. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down, and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. He caught it! Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. How nice is it in this offense to have a tight end like that guy that can come up with plays for you all over the field? We just saw the big third down catch. He set him up here in the red zone. I like going back to him, maybe lining him and flexing him outside, getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for him to use his size advantage. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And what a push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison, driving out of their stance, working into the second level, hats on hats, creating a lane for that running back. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And they finished it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. He'll pull it on the read. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. 
go with the option. Quarterback keeps it himself. And look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook. Leaves it with the back. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. And the Wildcats get enough to move the chains. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Looking to go up top on first down. Feeling some heat. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And screens are all about timing, right? You want to invite the defensive line to fly up the field, and then you want to throw it right over their head. And you can tell just a little bit off. The defense got in there so quick, got the quarterback hit before he could really get his bearings and throw the screen. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. You know, as an offense, when you're trying to complete these tunnel screens, you're going to have to be able to negotiate some of these defenders near the line of scrimmage. They're all looking to swat it away. Good job by the defense there. Now facing a third and long. They're going to throw it again. Quarterback moving. He'll try to do it himself. Giving him his pads. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Kansas State really has this drive rolling. To the ground with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for space. It's Giddens. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll come to the line needing four yards for a first down. They're already two for two on this drive. Johnson looking to throw. Quickly complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it just past the sticks. Yeah, and I'd like to see the defense maybe be a little bit more aggressive, a little more in the face, because QBC's easy access. I'm going to throw the football. My receiver's got a little bit of space. He can get the first down. I'd like to see the defense make him work for it a little bit more. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Stands alone, all wide receivers. Looking to throw on second down. He's got the tight end. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, guys. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Shotgun snap on third down. Going to take a shot. 
and trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. Hold on just a second. A flag down. Let's see what's up with that. Can't make contact with the kicker like that. A costly special teams penalty. You've got to know your path in front of the kicker. Offense comes back on the field. And not even a chance to pitch it as he is slammed down in the backfield. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. After that last loss, it's second and 12. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline clinic. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Kansas State has it first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And those outside linebackers nowadays are so fast. They got to cover ground. You can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. That makes the score. West Virginia, 10, Kansas State, 3. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Fox. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Hand off from the gun. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Dropping back, it's Green. Fires to the big fella. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. It's first and 10 from the 31. 
Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. So that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. The incompletion on first down. Now they face a second and 10 from the 31. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Fires to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. A third down try for the offense. Reads it, fires complete. That'll be enough for the first down. They'll mark it at the 48. It's all about critical damage and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. And the Mountaineers come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Got room on the return. The 20. Touchdown, Wildcats! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender, seeing that ball in the end zone. Your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. Smashes it through for the PAT. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Trying to move them on the counter. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Hey, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Wants to throw on third. Wide open downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. The Mountaineers getting set on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's green. Makes the grab on the left. And they bring him down quickly, but a good game there. 
Yeah, this is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. Free snap motion in the backfield. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the grab. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chain to 10 to 21. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And here comes the offense on second down. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Davis. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. Well, the offense has made it known on this drive. They're trying to throw the football, and they're going to let this quarterback go to work. The defense does a great job winning up front. They get the sack to try to slow this momentum down. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Defense going to use a timeout. Can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. After making one field goal, he'll need a little distance on. This one, a 40-yard try coming. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Absolutely perfect. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Johnson wants to throw it. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. Well, that's just a miss by the quarterback. That's a simple slant route. That ball's got to be thrown out in front or put in the face mask of the receiver. That throw by the QB. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end down the gut. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen. You've got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking it. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's looking to throw it. The quick out. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You've got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll throw on third and short. Got the quick pass. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. They get the conversion there. He used his size and nice moves to get past the chain. And I like that. Third and short. Find the big fellow, the soft hands. Make a quick little move. Make the completion. Get the first down. Kansas State pushing the pace.
through the air on first down. Snares it outside, it's Brown. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. But when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. It's a QB. You've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. Offense gets set for second down. Johnson looking to throw. A strike downfield. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense, and you've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. Defense is going to have to make some adjustments trying to stop this guy. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Quickly complete. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wide out in motion. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. Ben makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So an 82-yard drive there, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Well, the offense just taking what the defense gives them there. There's a lot of cushion out in coverage, so that was just too easy for the quarterback. Spits it out, and they pick up the first. Looking for a man. It's Green. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The man coverage, when they get up in your face, they make things hard. You want to be able to attack the whole field and get them leaning in one direction and then break outside like you did there. Nice out route connection. Nice chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. Trying to find his man on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hinton. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Wants to throw on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Robinson. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. First down, West Virginia. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. And he missed it. No good. And guys still down by four, still needing a touchdown to take the lead. Kansas State, 17, West Virginia, 13. Only seven seconds remaining in the first half. Let's see how they play it here on first and ten. 
They'll try the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what a pleasure it's been to watch these two teams thus far there in Morgantown. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's take the old country roads on our way back to Mountaineer Field. Kansas State will kick it off to start things in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. Got it behind the line. It's Fox. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens. You could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. Run. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Off play action. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Mountaineers send out the punt unit. He'll call for the fair catch here. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Single back formation, and they give it to him. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Good timing on the quick out. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. Nice throw, nice catch, great completion on that out route. Sometimes those cornerbacks, when they see that early, they can make that jump and get that pick six. So those are dangerous routes to throw, but it worked for them there. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. On the ground, it's Giddens. Powers through the defender. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Kansas State back at it after picking up the first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. And more yards after contact. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. Here's the handoff. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. 
And a nice job by the offense, picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Been showing them the run, now they'll throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Swanson. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. It'll be a run on third and short. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and long or third and inch, you just have to go and execute. That's why the good board invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire plate. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. And it's just unbelievable when you got these kind of big athletes. Quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. It's complete. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Well, a field goal kicker can step away from the net and go sit down, grab some water. They're not, not going to need him just quite yet. That was a great play call. Throwing the ball on third and short in field goal range to get the completion now setting up first and goal. The Wildcats have it in scoring position on first and goal. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Wildcats! An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays. But how about the execution, running and throwing the football? Wow. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. Kansas State. 24, West Virginia, 13. Number 17, set to kick off. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. The Mountaineers will move the sticks with the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. First down, West Virginia. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Using the quick game. Trying to convert this second and short.
from the gun. Running back gets the give. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, then 82 yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. And the Mountaineers are on the move. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Quick strike complete. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger game. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Grab behind the line. It's Davis. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. So difficult, because my eyes tell me he's a defensive guy. He's handing it off. The offensive line's blocking run. I got to go get it. Quarterback pulls it, throws it to the right. It's kind of like that hidden hat game. Like, where's the ball? I'm always trying to find that daggone thing. The Mountaineers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll put the tight end in motion. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play and a sack. But one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything happen. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Man, oh man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Catch in the middle, it's White. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Makes the grab well past the sticks. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. You got to give this quarterback a ton of credit because he showed tremendous confidence on that throw. That wasn't just trying to throw to the sticks. That was being aggressive and throwing it down the field. Not a high percentage throw, but he had confidence in his guy to win one-on-one, -on -one and they keep the drive alive. Movement here from the tight end. Off the RPO complete. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. The biggest rule change for me, if I could make one in all of college football, would be illegal man downfield. And when they run these RPO plays and those linemen start to creep further and further down the field, I would love for the refs to call those more often. It's a cheating play, basically, running these RPOs. So hard to stop. Nice execution by the offense. They're probably cheating, too. Well, the quarterback had the look he wanted. He had his big fella down here in the red zone. That's supposed to be an easy pitch and catch, but his buddy puts it on the floor. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. And more drives like this is what's needed. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. Oh, 
Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Johnson wants to throw it. Buys a little time. He's going to run it. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Giddens. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Uh, linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run. Got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Out of the gun to give to the back. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. That's caught. It's Giddens. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Coming out on first down with the play fake. With the catch, it's Brown. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back to back. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Got it! Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance, perhaps, to put it out of reach. 
And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball game? And the D deny them on second and goal. Johnson looking to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. They will score! Touchdown, Kansas State! Kansas State, number 10. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice... The expressway is wide open. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from a high game. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. To the air, it's green. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. They had the big play to start the drive, but a couple of misfires now leaves us with third and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. He's got it. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Caught over the middle. It's Robinson. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. Tackled, but he has a first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. And the Mountaineers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And wings it incomplete. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. And now on second down for this offense. Here's a quick throw out to the left. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. First down, West Virginia.
on the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. A first down run in the red zone. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Brings up. Second and goal for the offense. Looking for a man, it's Green. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone, he makes those throws in his sleep. And they'll come to the line trying to take a slice out of this lead on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Well, on third and short and field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they're going to send out the field goal unit and take the offense off the field. The kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. K-State has the ball back, and the power cat offense returns to the field. Grabbed over the middle, it's Johnson. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Johnson wants to throw it. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Brown. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. Now on first and 10 from the 29. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Brown. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. Wide receiver shows motion. A jet sweep pass. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get them out of a spot. Trying to beat the D deep. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. We still got time. Great job by the defense doing the most important thing, getting the ball back to their offense. Now the offense has to answer the bell. A good job creating the turnover. Now the offense, your turn.
West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here today. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Wants to throw. It's green. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down. The third down's coming up. It's great for this quarterback to take shots down the field, but you just don't want it to feel like a give up or a chuck it up and hope kind of play. And I think understanding the situation, now I'm on defense, right? If they're going to take shots down the field, maybe I'm a little bit more aggressive with my blitz, understanding that everything's going to take a little bit more time to develop if they're going to take those deep shots. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. The Mountaineers have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Works the middle of the field. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. And the Mountaineers racing to the line in the hurry up. Back to the air one more time. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. Well, I think the ball just got on the receiver so quickly. He took his time working his route, and by the time he got his head around, the ball was already there, and he just wasn't able to stab it. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires to the wideout. He's got him, and they convert. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. The Mountaineers are marching down the field. To the air. It's green. Gets it out fast. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. And the Mountaineers have pushed it inside the 20. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed in the middle, it's Fox. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Yeah, and Palmer, I don't know what his grade's going to be, but hitting over 400 yards on the day, I, I think coaches are going to be pretty impressed with the day this young man had. No doubt. I think for defensive coordinators moving forward now, you're going to be charged with having to find answers to try to slow this guy down. Today, we've seen this defense try blitzing, zone coverage, man coverage. They've mixed up personnel. None of it has worked. This guy has carved them apart. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. And that's exactly what this defense needed. They needed to have something positive. Giving up some yardage. They've given up some plays. No big deal. Got right back in it on this drive with that big sack. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He's going to pass on second down. 
He's got it on the run. Good throwing catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. They'll look to throw on third and goal. This is hard for the way touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. And listen, still a ways to go. A great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Now down by two inside a minute to go. If they can get this onside kick, maybe they could get into field goal range. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with a dub. Nowhere to run on now, and he loses four on the carry. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. And they only need a field goal, and they have to manage the time wisely here. Yeah, I think you want to manage the clock, Reese. Be smart with your timeout situation. Know where to attack, Jesse, on the field right now. Yeah, generally, you want to attack with your best players. So get them in matchups that you like and get those guys the football. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Looking to throw, it's green. He's going to take off. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. 